web. All right. Last episode of Star Trek Discovery, and then I get to fucking watch some Orville later on. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan. If you don't haven't already done it, like, share, and subscribe. So today is another another episode of Star Trek Discovery. Another review in the can. So yeah. Will you take my hand? And what a retarded name for a Star Trek episode. God damn. Yeah, we got the, we got a close up of the Klingon ships. They still look dumb. And why are, and why are they waiting to attack Earth? That doesn't make sense. There's like five or six ships just waiting to attack Earth. And then we have, yeah, Burnham confronts Giorgio after trying to reveal her. Jen Burnham goes, tell me the real plan. Where is he hiding? Where is he hiding? Oh. And yeah, why is the atmosphere of Konos green? It seems weird. What else? Okay, so why is there Orion Embassy on the on the Klingon homeworld? And yeah, Tilly gets high. <laughs> oh, and we, and we see no active sex scenes between uh, the Emperor Philippa and the two Orions. We don't see any active sex scenes. Yeah, uh, the, no, no odd, no odd line to draw. Come on. Don't you got an Asian actor? Wow, you got an Asian actress. Why isn't she, why isn't she banging some green people? Why isn't that happening? Odd line to draw. Same odd line they drew when they showed us Michael Burnham disrobing and preparing to take a bath. We didn't get to see no. We didn't get to see no some boobies. So yeah. It, it's it's odd to me that Kurtzman and his ilk are just stopping at the just stopping short of the uh, just just putting a putting the brakes on certain kinds of depravity. You got people being tortured and beat up. And all that shit. But this is where you start draw the line. Fuck off. And we have uh yeah we have a random shot of Kronos go goes volcanic because like yeah they've got a special effect they got a special effects budget to burn here. I bet they really, I bet they actually wanted to destroy Kronos. I bet they really wanted to do that. I, I, I bet that's why they created that volcanic, why they created that volcanic destruction effect. And yeah. So yeah, we have Burnham, she goes... From the embassy to the discovery, she she should be looking for the emperor. Just see her jump randomly to there. And yeah, survival greater than principles. Uh, fuck off, burn. Fuck off, Kurtzman. And then yeah, we have Burnham. She just seems jump. She just seems jump to the emperor before she she activates the bomb. <laughs> 
She just scenes jump to the Emperor. Good. Okay, so then so then they give Lorel the detonator. Ugh. Lorel ruling and then we have Lorel ruling the Klingon Empire. Yeah, too bad. Too bad it's not canon. Too bad that shit's not canon. Or if it is, G Chancellor Go Gorkon is going to is going to become the new emperor. It's going to overthrow Lorel. I look for I look forward to that. Lighting is still terrible. Sneaker Martin Green is still stiff acting. And yeah, we had a, there was a Burnham voiceover. That was her just randomly giving a speech at a Federation medal presentation. That was just her giving a random speech there. Why is she giving the speech? And yeah, the redesign of the Enterprise. Well, and uh, we have some ter terrible lighting. And then yeah, some original series theme at the end of the, at the original at the original series theme, played at, at the end of the episode. Just fuck off. Okay. <sighs> There's probably more egregious shit in here, but I think. Ugh, ugh, this is like the tail end. This is the the tail end of the egregious shit. And yeah, we have Tyler. Yeah, Tyler going. Tyler's gonna go help. Lorel, former torturer, to to I don't know, be, be become the emperor of the empress of the Klingons. Okay. So yeah, basically the Federation has put basically the Federation has put and installed a new dictator to the Fed, to the Klingon Empire. Okay. Okay. I guess. I guess it's either that or blow up the planet. That or do that, I guess. Ugh. Hmm. Okay. This is the tail end of the shit hurricane, folks. I don't got much. I didn't write much. I didn't write much in my notepad because I wanted this shit to be done. So yeah. Ah oh, man. Star Trek Discovery. It was a slog to get through. It truly and sincerely was. Uh, it's good thing. Good thing I had the Orville. Just a p good thing I had the Orville. So yeah. Good thing I had the Orville. And I still have one more episode of the Orville to do, and then after that, after that I. I'm going to review the Star Trek movies. The Star Trek movies. Where... Where a supernova... A supernova... That's the technical term. A supernova explodes and just blows up from a supernova... Star goes supernova and another... Another part of the galaxy, and just that, just randomly uh, destroys, randomly destroys Romulus. It's the supernova is light years away. That's not how fucking supernovas work. Oh my god. 
Ugh. All right. Oh. Hmm. But before I get to the Star Trek movies, before I get to that, there will be some vodka and lube episodes. Vodka and lube episodes, which should, should be good ones. Those should be good ones. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to it. In that it's the... In that I will be watching good movies along with bad movies. So, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, it's time to do some more. I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do some more videos, and then I'm going to... Then I'm gonna go watch, watch the the vodka episode, and then or uh, watch the or finish the off the Orville. Watch two episodes of Star Trek the original series. That'll be the vodka and lube episodes. So yeah, it should be great. Should be fun. We need fun these days, folks. I can't stress that enough. So, yeah. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Ganistan. Stay frosty. Stay sexy, San Diego. Get your chosen one where you can. And I'm a spaceman. Peace.